patient health center be involved? I've already indicated that human beings are at the center of concerns for sustainable development are entitled to a healthy and productive life in harmony with nature. Health sector is responsible for protecting and preserving lives. A better understanding of the links between climate change and health can help motivate behavioral change. And over 94, 5%, I think, in the session where I was in, I can't remember whether it was Dr. Mangan, over 95% of these development countries, of which South Africa is one of them, have health as a priority, yet less than 30% of these countries have a response to that. But I'm so happy when I was in the session that I was coming home to say South Africa will be launching our, our plan on Wednesday 6th. And I was saying, oh, I'm looking forward to hear what, how are we reacting as, as South Africa. Role of women in climate change. I'm going to not to go into details with that one because I'm really wanting to talk about the health professionals because I know the lady will be more on the role of women as a lady. There will be some who will really be speaking on the role of women. Maybe I can pass that one. <coughs> pass that one and come to the role of health professionals. And I've said my presentation will also be be informed by the observation that I've made since we were here since on Monday. Yesterday was Saturday. We had a big match of organs of civil society. And I'm coming from the National National Association in the country. I was marching there with so many organizations representing women, representing so forth. But who made me to participate? was a trade And I was looking at the t-shirts that people were wearing. From the trade unions in our country, the National Union of Mine Workers, I was wearing their t-shirts, talking to what are the challenges of the climate change to their members as National Union of Mine Workers. Because for them, it is about preserving jobs. And you hear NUM articulating their positions on <coughs> this matter, climate change. They will tell you the tons and tons of reserves of coal we have in this country. And what it will do if we move in opposite direction, that workers are going to lose jobs. What do we say, what do I say as the NOSA representing health professionals? You see, so for me, those are the issues that I hope in this meeting we're really going to talk about, to say, how do we make sure that in forums where climate change is discussed, we as health professionals organizations, we are heard <coughs> clearly, not just following what others are, are saying, but we are heard clearly. Certainly this morning when our Minister of Health, a very energetic and very passionate minister was talking also about his own um, uh, 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 observation. He clearly said that he had, in terms of the government departments, the health is not really regarded as the department that ought to have a major role to play. It also happens to us, we have affiliated together with the medical association to the very vocal federation of trade unions in the country. And climate change is high on the agenda of general workers in the country. We even had, was it probably two months back or last month, a workshop here in Debe, preparing for COP17. The unions that were listed there, it was nine union, uh, national union of men workers, the workers in metal industry, transport, whatever. But when it came to health, we were listed as others. And what did <coughs> that tell us? I had to do a round in the exhibition center there, looking at the stores that were there. 
The only one that was a stall for health professionals was a stall of the uh, International Students <coughs> Association. Thank you very much. <laughs> I looked at the health professionals, none. I did not have a stall, also my service did not say that. So for me, our role is to put health at the heart of climate change agenda. For an example, in ministries of health in these regions, they have a declaration in Rwanda. I didn't know about it. I only heard about it when we were in that workshop that was organized by the workers because of summer. And I kept on saying, Summer, how come that you know about these issues and I don't know and I never follow health services? They said it was true. World Medical Association. I said, oh my God, I had to quickly Google ICN because I've affiliated in ICN. I then realized that with ICN, it's only, you know, position statement and very like. And I then realized that some more than three years ago, we used to meet in Geneva, three professionals, doctors, nurses, and, and pharmacists. It has stopped. And when I attended, I used to so I need to go back home and make sure that we have the same alliance in the country. But we ended up, you know, with doctors coming on board, but pharmacists not really there. So, and I'm saying if we really work in something, we're not being able to put uh, climate change on the agenda of these uh, politicians. So we need to advocate and raise awareness. Last week, with my president, Dorothy McDevin, president of Dinosa, we attended a workshop in Botswana, titled Millennium Development Goals. So when we heard that, we had, that was the heading for the, we then told, what about climate change? So they then said, oh, South Africa, now that you raise it, can you just give the paper on climate change? So I wrote a paper and something just to, to raise awareness amongst the, amongst the nurses, organization in the southern region. When I was talking about it, everybody was looking at me as if I was mad. <laughs> I then realized, no, we really need to work very hard. They ended up, when it was time for comment, they said, oh, do you have some, maybe you know about these things because COP7 is going to be in your country. <laughs> so that is why they, they didn't even know about it. My president is coming from a meeting across there this afternoon. She was saying, oh my God, you know, when I was listening to what people are saying, I had to go back to my own hospital where I'm working. I realized when I told them that I'm coming here, they said, oh, don't, what is that? What is COP17? Whereas this country in 2010, we hosted FIFA World Cup. Everybody knew what FIFA World Cup was. <laughs> and the comment of mine when we were, when we were marching yesterday said, he had one of the people commented, you know, I don't know these seven cops, when are going to leave Devon? Because all the roads are closed here in Devon. Who? These 17 cops, meaning policemen. You see? So, so I'm saying, we need a lot of work. Talk about we have to strengthen our country health systems. I've already indicated each country has got its own priorities. And I'm not too sure, friends, that how many of the African countries have prioritized have just indicated that climate change is one of its priorities. So, because we will never get there without strengthening uh, the public health system. Choose healthy paths to a low carbon future, e.g. shifting to cleaner and more sustainable means of supply, basic needs such as energy generation and transport, we know we're very health. If you look at the transport in health, eh? promote research on climate change. Because I, Dr. Rajan, I once worked with, with him in UK, and I was saying, Rajan, we really need to work together, Even the researchers. Strengthen partnership and our bodies with me in the subject. So I'm saying we really need to work together. Let me end there. I'm <laughs> saying I am looking forward for collaboration, partnership. All of us as we are here. The question will be who's going to take the lead. Thank you.